Hi guys, so as you all may know, this is the setup we use for Not Good Gamers and this is our gaming PC in the office. Now the only problem I have with this PC is that I can't bring it home. Laptop I have at home really can't support most of the games that my friends play and I don't really have a PC at home. So today I have decided that I am going to build my very own gaming PC to be built at home so that I can play with my friends. And the only problem is that I don't know what I need <laughs> to get. So uh, we're going to ask a few friends, we're going to uh, look around, uh, go shopping and um, how much do I actually yeah, you know what, let's just set a budget at $1,000. Hopefully that's enough, yeah, $1,000, all right? All right, so this is the setup we have in the office, all right? We have our CPU over there, our motherboard, our GPU, our internal storage, our RAMs right down the left side. We have our power supply unit and after all the case. So, um, funny how I know all the parts, it's just that I don't know how they actually function. So hopefully in the process of buying my own parts, I, start, I will start to understand what they're really for because you know, what's the point of driving a car if you don't know what drives a car? <laughs> right, so over here we have our tech geek expert over here, his name is Echo. Yes, so thank you very much for entertaining me. So. What other things that I need? Okay, firstly, I think you need a CPU, definitely. Uh, a central processing unit. I thought it was like comp computer processing. Okay, central. For gaming, Ryzen will be better, and it's a cheaper option as well. Okay, so that's about like what, one fifty to two hundred. The second most important thing is the graphics card. The GPU? Yes. Ah, yeah, GPU, I knew that. NVIDIA you can go for like 1060, 1070. I mean, depends on the price range that you want. We'll put that on hold as of right now, but we'll most probably go for a second-hand one. Okay. Next, uh, we have motherboard. The motherboard. If I'm going to get a Ryzen CPU, it definitely means I need a Ryzen. The motherboard supports. Uh, oh, motherboard supports. That's right. Ah, okay. 100 to about $150. Oh, that's slightly cheaper. After that, what else do you need? <clears throat> I think you need a RAM. We need a RAM. Yeah. Random access memory. Roughly gonna get about 16 gig of RAM. Okay, yeah. so that's good, right? 16 yeah. gig is good, yeah? That's more than enough. Alright, so how much would that cost? One, 120 to 150 dollars. Okay, after RAM, uh, you need a storage. Yes. So SSD and hard drive. Yes, so we definitely need to get an SSD because... Yeah, um, for your OS boot up. SSD will cost about... I'll say 80 dollars. Hey, you bro, it's, what? It's, it's, yeah. Eighty dollars. You can find all this deal in Simlim. Simlim, all right. All right. So basically, my total storage will cost me less than two hundred dollars. Ah, uh, you need a power uh, supply. Power that. supply, PSU. PSU for a setup. Mm -hmm. Normally, a five hundred watts would be enough. Five hundred watts. Okay. But you just want to get something in excess like six hundred or six fifty. Prices range between fifty dollars to about seventy five dollars. Oh, that's okay. Right? That's okay. Depend it doesn't doesn't matter if it's new or used for me, in my opinion. Yeah, depending on the brand, you need to buy a good uh, power supply. You need because if not, um, let's say if it's a bad power supply, uh, if the thing short circuit, your your whole board will. Yeah, you know, what? let's be safe. Let's get a good one. You know, just to be safe. Right? In my personal opinion, cases, no matter how cool they look. To me, it does not really matter as long as you know it works perfectly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care if it's even a naked motherboard. Mm -hmm. For casing, I've seen this um, case. I forget what's the brand, but it's relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. Fifty dollars for good-looking case. It's a fifty dollars. Yes. Let's have a rough estimate of what we have so far. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is our worst-case scenario. One zero seven five. So we can cut a lot. Probably. We can cut a lot. If we bust this, we suck at shopping, honestly, in my opinion. If we bust this, we suck. We won't bust. We won't bust? We won't bust. Echo says we won't bust. So, uh, you're following me to Simlim. I don't care. Okay. Alright, so right now we're at Simlim and uh, we're going to get some parts here because we found some other good deals on carousels. We're going to walk around and compare prices to see whether there's even space in a budget to like, you know, move around. So, let's go. So we spent an entire hour walking around comparing prices. After everything, Dynacore actually tempted me the most. The first offer already got me like that, but I was like, you know what, let's just try other places for myself back here again. So you know what, let's just get our stuff here and let's get to building. 1K, cold hard cash. Get this video up to 1K likes and we build a 2K budget PC. How about that? It hurts a bit, but it's okay. It's okay. It's for a good cause. The shopping part is done. Now the, it comes down to the building part. Thank you, boss. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Master. See you soon. Yeah, we got our stuff all exactly within 1K on the dot. Can't wait to go back and build. Um, this thing comes with an instruction manual? No. 
So basically, this is practically um, PC building for dummies because well, what do I do first? Alright, so first things first, we got the motherboard over here. I got a Gigabyte B450 and the motherboard is the backbone of all the PCs. And I'm actually very scared because they say that you can actually mess this up pretty easily because it's super sensitive and I'm a very clutchy kind of guy. There you go. This is the Gigabyte 450. Now, first I would need to put my CPU on it. So for the CPU, we've got an AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Here's the chip to put it there. Yeesh. Okay. Confirm. Okay, then lock it in. Yay! First step done. And so we've got the CPU cooler right here. I've been told not to touch this um, this gray spot here because that's where the thermal solution is. All right, so. Now I have to screw in the uh, CPU cooler, so this might it takes a while. Everything started in. I have to unscrew the CPU cooler because uh, apparently uh, I'm blocking the DDR slot. So um, yeah. Hey, wait, what? The whole CPU came out. Oh my gosh! Now it's them part two. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, you got it out. So um, we had a little mishap about the whole CPU and the thermal paste. So hopefully that doesn't affect anything. If it does, then um, I'm pretty much good. So yeah. So next up will be the RAM slot one and three. The uh, the grey ones. Okay, let's slot in the grey ones. Yeah. So we got a two times eight gigabyte RAM stick here. So we're gonna slot it in the first slot. Is it this way? Lang it in. So just lay in. Okay, then press the middle. Press the middle. Alright, same money fit. Got my RAMs in, got my CPU cooler in. Next up, we're gonna add in our M2 SSD. So we have a slot right there, right? Let me just check the Mazi M2. M2, yeah, that is the M2 socket. Oh, over here is this M2A. Does it make a difference if it's M2A or M2? This is basically adult Lego. That's right. 256 gigabyte SSD. Is that enough? So as of right now, we're done for the motherboard. So we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna open up the case. So for the PSU, we've got the Thermaltake Light Power Series and this is at a 550 watts. Huh. Cables, this is the whole thing. When they mentioned cable management, I didn't I didn't realize it'd be this much cables. I opened up this side when actually, as a matter of fact, I should have opened up the other side. I should have opened up this side of the case. Now, now I, I thought the motherboard was scary, but... Yo, this is scarier, dude. Oh, I know what the screws are for now. It's to tighten the the PSU to the to the case. So my PSU is finally in place at the bottom here. Alright, so next up, since we got the open slot here, turns out it's for my hard disk. So gonna put in this uh, 1 TB hard disk right here. I would actually have to open up this side of the case so that I can put in my hard disk so that I can screw it on. But right now, I'm kind of a bit in a pickle because I already put in my Yes, you. So turns out I have another hiccup. Um, I'm gonna take out the PSU first so that I can have some leeway to install my hard disk. I think I can pull back my PSU. Wait, let me think first. Can I pull back my PSU? After I put in the PSU, we can connect all the cables and then put on the motherboard, and then it should blank. All right. So. Let's slot it in. Make sure it's lined up with our IO bracket. What? Something is blocking the way. Oh yeah, it fits. It doesn't move. It doesn't nudge. Okay. I got the motherboard in. So right now comes uh, hell. The cable management part. This will take um, extreme patience and coordination, which I lack. So I'll try my very best. I'm not proud of this, but 
uh, yeah, this is how my cable management looks like. So, yeah, now it's down to the GPU. Alright, so we got here ourselves a 1660 Ti. At first, we wanted to get a 1070 Ti used one, but the guys at Dynacall were so nice to, you know, give this one and suggest that, you know, this runs almost the same as a 1070 and it's brand new. It even comes with a shop warranty, so thank you guys at Dynacore. After putting in our GPU, we realized that we didn't actually have space to put in our Wi-Fi. At first, we were thinking like, oh my god, if we couldn't fix it in, you know, like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? And we called Dynacore and they were like, you can, you can, just do. And we were like, are you sure? Yes, just, just do. And we did it and it's in there. Nice, very nice. Alright guys, so after three and a half hours, close to four hours, well, um, now is the moment of truth. $1,000 PC, let's go. Wait, what, why are you guys running away? Everyone's running away. Everyone's so afraid that it might explode. Is it even plugged in? Is it? Oh, Dad, what the f- Dad! What's that, bro? On the switch! Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew that. Alright, three, two, one, bang. Ooh. Everything's running. Okay, it's running. Is the monitor on? That's right! Finally, we got some life. Okay. It works! Okie dokie. No noise, no beeping. So... Alright, so right now, we're just gonna do all the necessary setup and install Windows 10 and... Then let's carry on with the performance part of the video. So after booting up the PC, everything looks great. We've got our processor up and running, our 6-core processor, but the only thing that we need to do now is just to download the right drivers that this PC needs. So we're gonna connect to an Ethernet and just let it load a bit more. So after installing uh, a few games and trying it out on this PC, so far everything seems super smooth. Uh, maybe it's just the monitor, but so far the PC hasn't been acting up and it's actually functioning at a very reasonable uh, performance level is it's actually running pretty smooth and on auto settings it's automatically high so in hindsight one thousand dollars for a gaming pc actually gives you still a pretty optimal gaming experience i haven't tried out the headset yet not sure about the audio but we did test it out and everything actually sounds pretty alright but i haven't really been in depth but visually everything is pretty okay and you know just want to give a huge shout out to the guys at dinocore for helping us out pick the parts and actually you know breaking it down for us about which part and we, because we actually had a budget we actually had like a list on how much we should spend yep it's right here we calculated everything should be up to a thousand the prices might have like ranged in between here and there but uh the moment we sent dinocore that image they were like no worries i got you five minutes later the list came out like 1k so do let us know down in the comment section below if you want us to go a little bit more in depth with this pc build but as of right now this video is just a very quick tutorial on how to build pcs for dummies all right guys and like i said earlier in the video get this video up to 2k likes get this video up to 1k likes and we build a 2k budget pc how about that get this video up to 2k likes and we'll do another gaming pc build with a budget of two thousand dollars so in the meantime guys remember to like this video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time